Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing a wall mounted vent for our kitchen. So for today, this project's pretty simple. All you're going to need is a wall mounted vent. You're going to need a saw to cut out the hole to mount the vent over top and I'm going to be using a jigsaw for that. You're also going to need a drill and a few inch long screws to mount the vent and then some caulking and a caulking gun. Now depending on how high you're going to have to go to mount this vent, you'll also need a ladder. This vent is going to be connected to the hood of our stove and currently it's running right into our attic and that's not great. You need to vent those outside so I'm going to be cutting a hole directly into the side of the house and venting it out with the hose from there. You can also attach vents onto the roof. That's not as easy. You have to worry about sealing it and making sure there's no leaks. This is a much easier way, especially if you're not used to or familiar with roofing. I'm gonna come with my jigsaw and cut out the shape that I just traced from the back side of the vent, telling me exactly what size and shape to do that so they'll fit in here perfectly. You can see that I split the gap on these boards right down the middle, so I'm not cutting a circle out of the center of one of these boards that might weaken it too much and pretty much will cut the board in half. This way I split that gap and took half out of each board. Each board should still have plenty of support and strength to hold together really well. Next, I'm gonna take those four inch long screws and I'm gonna be putting one in each corner. Then I'm also gonna be taking some caulking and sealing up the outside of this vent. I already put one bead around the inside of the vent before attaching it to the wall and this one on the outside as well. Now you wanna make sure that this is sealed off. You don't want moisture water getting behind the vent and going behind the siding, the hole that you cut out and rotting it out. This way it'll stay sealed up and protected. I'm just going to take my finger real quick and smooth out some of the caulking and any excess that I have I can seal up any cracks or gaps in that siding as it's the same color as the siding. We're done outside, let's go on inside and get ready for the attic. Now you're going to need a hose, I have this flex hose that extends I believe up to 10 feet or 10 or 15 feet. I have a few of these hose clamps that clamp down onto that hose and hold it in place. Now I also have here a coupling to connect the old hose with the new one. Also, I have a light here, very helpful when you're going in the attic. It's dark up there. I have a mask and some gloves. And I'm also recommending pants and long sleeves to keep the insulation from bothering you. Now I'm gonna bring up my drill again for the hose clamps and that should be it. Now I'm gonna go up in the attic. It's really tight, so sorry for some of the angles. I can't quite show everything on here and work at the same time. But I'm gonna extend that hose and make any bends in the hose before I mount it. And that's a lot easier beforehand so you don't end up breaking the connections. Now the vent actually has a detachable section that mounts to the hose. So this makes it really easy. You can put it into the hose, clamp it down, then just snap it into the vent and be done with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first, clamp that down once I have it fully in place, and then I'll move on to the other side and connect that. On this side it gets even tighter so I wasn't able to show exactly what I was working on here but basically I'm going to put the coupling in between these two hoses and put one hose clamp on each hose tying it into the coupling. This would be really easy to do if it weren't for such a tight area to be in so anything that you can assemble beforehand it makes it a lot easier. So you can see here the stretch of hose thankfully it doesn't have to go very far you don't want to go like across your attic with these hoses you want to try to keep it fairly close to where the vent is. Hope you guys found this one helpful I know it's a quick video but don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to hear from you guys so please leave any comments you have down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And a big thank you for all my supporters on Patreon. Can't thank you enough for everything you do for the channel. Thanks so much guys. I'll see you in the next one.